Welcome back, Woodhounds. Welcome back to the Back 40 Firewood channel. So before I get going out here this morning, and it's a, it's a bit of a cold morning out, um, I just wanted to, again, um, last Friday night on the live stream, it was just, uh, <laughs> it was crazy. But I wanted to thank everybody who attended and thank all those super chatters. But I also wanted to say that, um, you know, I, I did miss a few again a few chats and comments and there was a couple comments that i actually read but i didn't realize who was leaving them so i just wanted to give a quick shout out to kh gerhard because afterwards i realized who you were <laughs> so um yeah and then uh there was another another message from uh casey scheller and the provider who was out they were out fishing Missed that one, so Casey, provider, if you guys are watching, here's a shout out for you. But yeah, it was just, uh, it was a good time. And again, I'm, I greatly appreciate everyone who, uh, like I said, who attended, and all you super chatters, you crazy woodhound super chatters. Woo, and the super stickers. So all right, as I mentioned, and as we unboxed on the live stream, I've got this um, hitch attachment for the loader bucket that we are gonna try out right now and see how it works. I'm gonna start moving, I'm gonna start by moving the uh, the trailer first, and then I'm gonna take the splitter and move that up um, so I can haul that down tomorrow to go get the Splitter Wars 2020 video done. But I wanted to give you guys a quick little look of the progress here in the new wood yard. So here is how things are looking. I got a good bit of the brush all cleaned up. Still got some right here. But otherwise, things are coming along nicely. So there is the bucket mount hitch attachment. So uh, this was one part and then I bought the, uh, the hitch to actually go in it. But basically what this is gonna do is slide right onto the bucket, clamp down, and then you can hook, um, I'm going to hook the trailer up and then you can either pull it in reverse or push it, I'm guessing, forward. And it'll be just like backing the, the trailer up. So my skills at that aren't too good in the pickup, but we'll see how they fare with the tractor. So let's get this thing clamped on and see how it works.
All right, so that didn't go too bad. Was a little, had to go a little slow, but um, I'm gonna try doing this, doing the splitter now in reverse. But what I'm thinking is that it might put a little too much pressure on that screw down clamp and it might actually pull it off the bucket. So we'll see. But I'm gonna do this, hook the splitter up now and I'm gonna back it out of here. See what happened right there at the end? Kind of the weight of the splitter came in and kind of jackknifed that thing. So, all right. So I think, like you saw there at the end, I think this is probably going to work better for pushing instead of pulling because I think when you're pushing, obviously, you don't have the force pulling on that on that little pin holding it down. So I'm I'm thinking that it was probably intended for more or less pushing. Uh, trailers and whatever you're moving around with that little hitch but now for some bonus footage I got these rounds right here I'm gonna fire up the old wolf ridge because I haven't ran her in a month or two actually two months two and a half months maybe but I'm gonna get her set up I'm gonna fire her up go through some of these rounds and give you guys a little bonus footage a little preview of what's to come in splitter wars 2020 
All right, so the Wolf Ridge running good as usual. Gonna get her an oil change, get her cleaned up. And then tomorrow we're gonna load up, head down to the farm and get things ready for filming the Splitter Wars 2020 video, which again will be released on April 18th. So we'll keep reminding you guys, everybody out there, we'll keep reminding and keep building up the hype. <laughs> but uh, as far as this little bucket hitch, it works good. It's gonna work good, I think, for helping me load up um, the beast here on the trailer. Because like I said before, it was always a challenge because I had to park in a low spot and then I had to try to push it up by hand. And now it's gonna be a lot easier using this hitch with the bucket and driving forward instead of pulling it i think that's gonna work good so yeah oh there's nothing like the smell of some fresh split red oak <sighs> all right so when we see you guys next time i'll be down on the farm we'll be getting things ready for splitter wars and uh yeah we'll just see you guys then take care woodhounds see you next time stay safe have fun and be cool